Yeah, I mean, we already know what time it is, but Twitter is going wild. Like, yeah. some woman so, was yeah. like, not Michael B. Jordan thinking that she was going to give her best body years to him. That very wealthy girl is going to freeze her eggs, go live her best life, and possibly settle down in her 40s. And it's just like, bro. Yeah, she's not getting a, giving her best body years to him. She's giving it to everybody, bro. So, I mean... Bro, look at this one right here. This like Lori Harvey God, dodging God. every man that want to get serious with her. I mean, bro. that's facts, bro. That's facts. Bro. Juking uh, them, bro. Straight juking them. Girls on Twitter. Ladies, never settle for a man until you get all you want. Michael B. Jordan moves mountains for Lori Harvey. The same girls. Yes, Lori Harvey, don't settle in your 20s. It's summertime. City girls up 1,000. Like, Bro, there's not much else that needs to be said. It's, it's, yeah, there's nothing. Like, yeah. You already know what it is, bro. It's like, because like, w- all we see is like women looking for high value men, this, this, and that, this, this, and that. And then it's like, she found it and she's still like, uh, so it's like, uh, this can be an example for both men and women. Like, because as a woman, like a high value man isn't going to change like yourself. Like you, you have to be, uh, for yourself, you have to be somebody who wants more out of life. And I think I like the fact that uh, one of the sites said that Michael B. Jordan wanted to elevate to the next level and Lori B. Harvey wasn't ready to take on the reins of elevating to that level with him. And Mm -hmm. the moral of the story is, if you wanna be selfish and alone, go ahead and do that. If you wanna work with somebody and grow to your maximum potential that you didn't even think that you could possibly reach, then that's what you need to do. But I mean, selfish and alone, cool. She's gonna have the time of her life, bro. She's gonna experience she's gonna her have things. Fun. Yeah, she's she, gonna have fun. Yeah. And gonna Michael B. Fun. Jordan is just gonna focus on his career, get done like what he needs to get done in the next five mm-hmm. years, 10 years. And I mean, even then he'll be 45 and he'll just literally go get somebody who's her age now. I mean. That's that's what dudes do. I mean, he might not even do that. He might just say, you know what? I want somebody who's going to be about their purpose and get somebody who's like goal oriented. Another successful, maybe black woman in Hollywood. I doubt it. But you'll probably get somebody who's definitely going to be on that foundational like wealth type thing. So, I mean, he could just also go way downhill, but like I don't see Michael B. Jordan doing that. I feel like he's going to marry a foreign non-black chick. Thanks. But she's going to be foreign, I feel like. That's just my prediction. Uh, I'll say European. Probably like Eastern European or something like that. So. We'll see. But, but either way, but either way, you know, at the end of the day, um, I feel like, you know, just my closing thoughts with this, this whole issue is that I feel like in modern day, there is this whole switcheroo of roles and everything, right? Where it's like men are becoming more feminine and women are becoming more masculine. So that's one part of it. Yeah. And then a big part of it too is this, um, I forget where the term comes from, but it's called um, uh, penis envy, I guess, where it's pretty much where um, a female, she gets jealous of, a male and his whether it be his actual penis or his like or, or things that males can do right masculinity. so we see this yeah masculinity so we see this thing where um women they want to compete they're, they're, they always say this thing where it's like oh like we i want to build together um i want to get to the bag i want to do so we can work together so we can be partners or whatever and low-key it's like Look at a dude like like Michael B. Jordan. Like he's not looking for competition. He's not looking for someone to get the bag with him because he he he's got is what bag, he is bro. by himself. Yeah, he is. like after Black Panther, he got GQ. He got mm-hmm. like all types of stuff. So it's like low key, he could stop right here and there, right right here and now, and like and live be his good. best life. Yeah. So like he wants more. I, yeah, so it's like if a woman wants to get with a dude like him, they're they're just gonna have to conform to certain things. Right. That's not in that's not congruent with the feminist, you know, doctrine that's out right now. 
Not to mention, and you got to think all her friends mm-hmm. are probably the same age as her. And they're like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, girl, you're going to be in a relationship and we're going to Spain and this, this and that. And we're going to be partying with these people. And like, it's a oh, low key, like the fear of is. missing out, bro. Because the, the fear of missing, the fear out, missing yeah. out. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of women have to decide it's either, yes, you can go chase your career, get the bag you know, hot girl summer and you might run the high risk of being alone or being with a dude that you don't really respect and love. You're just with him because you don't want to be lonely or, you know, go in the more feminine traditional role and, you know, be propped up with a dude that's like up there too, because there's a lot of things that um, women can get satisfaction from with being with a high value man. Right. Because a lot of it's in it's in it's in the data where it's like a lot of women they find happiness in having a family, in spite of the fact that feminism is teaching you like oh be independent be a boss be and all this stuff. A lot of women they find emptiness in their chasing their careers because they come home to an empty house, right? Or they just they just get used up by one night stands. Whereas a lot of women they might not have much. They might not be boss bees. They might quote unquote look submissive which is a bad word all of a sudden to their husbands, but it's like they have a big family, they have their kids, they're taken care of, they have their broken bags or whatever, and they don't have to worry about anything. They just focus on like their little hobbies and their kids and all that stuff, and they're good, they're chilling. But, you know, to a lot of feminists, that's, oh, that's that's bad and that's oppressive and whatever. So, I mean, the choice is yours because men right now, they're not dealing with it. They're not dealing with sloppy seconds. These dudes growing up, they're not dealing with sloppy seconds. They're not marrying and being stepfathers. Um, and if women want to be hot girl summers, they're going to play around with you. And then they're just going to dump you. And then they're going to go elsewhere to get um, their wives. Yeah, because so, I mean, every, every summer is hot girl summer at this point. So yeah, it's just like, yeah. well, why am I messing with you when I can just go get another girl who's exactly like you? Because they're all doing the same stuff. And the thing exactly. is, is like, I mean, it is what it is, bro. Like, I low-key was kind of shocked because, like, low-key, like, they look good together. Yeah, they did look good good together. And it was, like, one of those things where you think, like, Lori Harvey is just going to be like, okay, like, Michael B. Jordan's the one. I mean, he's a good candidate, like, in general. Like, as far as, like, the Black community would say, I mean, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, Maybe he was a simp, maybe it was a this and that and all this other stuff. But like at the end of the day, like Michael B. Jordan is going to be successful in anything that he does. So it it's it's tragic to see, it's sad to see, because like you said, like being going to the top is lonely. And like mm-hmm. a lot of men already assume that like in the end of days, like they're gonna be alone most of the time because it's it's a lot of work, bro. It's a lot of work to be successful especially if you want to build like generational wealth if you didn't come from money things like that like you think like like yeah making millions of dollars sounds like okay you don't have to worry about anything for the rest of your life but you do have to worry about things if your goal is to have kids and have them not worry about money for the rest of their lives because every year the like inflation is going up every year like money is becoming less and less valuable yeah valuable. the, the so dollar is weak is weaker than it was 10 years ago five oh, years ago euro is weak like every money is becoming weak so it's like generational wealth is becoming damn near impossible unless you just like you strike gold and like gary v talks about it's like everybody on youtube is like out of all the people on youtube to include us like only like 500 people get like super successful a year think about how many you could just look up how many youtube channels there are probably millions if not millions, hundreds of thousands. So for 500 people a year and everybody's trying to do all this stuff now because like TikTok and Instagram and YouTube is just one of those things that people do. I mean, we do it as a hobby because we, I mean, why not? Like we don't, we have jobs, we have, we make money, things like that. But it's like, this is another way that potentially can be like an outlet for one of us or for us one. And then also it's just something that we enjoy because in the last six months, we've learned how to video edit. We've learned how to network. We've learned how to yeah. 
create a platform. We've learned a lot about social media and marketing and all these things that people want to pay for. And about two years from now, like, especially like, um, once we get like a studio and everything like that, like two years from now, like now we can teach people how to do these things. We can grow people's channels. We can do all these things, but we're the ones putting in the work right now. And there's going to be a lot of people in two years who are going to be like, man, I want to get to a certain point and we'll make money off of that. So that's the thing is like at the end of the day, everything that we do is definitely not enough at the end of the day for most men in general, because for every dollar that we're not making, some other dude is making it three, four times. So sad to see, but it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, we'll probably get like a couple tweets together and then go over it again and then we'll have some laughs because these these people are wilding on here. I'm still stuck on that. She's like, you think that Lori Harvey is going to give her his her best good body years? Like, so 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 a man of of Michael B. Jordan's caliber is supposed to get some used up body. Yeah, which is done had given yeah. it to everyone else. Yeah, exactly. that's the mentality of modern day females right now. A lot of them, not all. Yeah, she's gonna live her best life at forty, bro. After she's ran through, so like low key with her track record right now, she's twenty five. So what twenty? So she's gonna go through another fifteen dudes before she hits forty, and then be like, I mean, low key with the way these body counts are, if she only had like twenty five bodies, yeah. yeah, thirty bodies, like. That's not like the worst, but low key, like it's still going to be like, yo, your girl is nationally known for taking a body every single year. Like what dude is going to, and she's going to have to marry outside of the States to be honest. If she wants somebody to take her serious and be like, Oh, who are you? Cause like a lot of these things that women don't understand these modern women is like, you guys think that these celebrities are rich. They're not even close to like corporation owner, rich CEO, rich, like, that's why they're still fighting to get money because like, bro, Michael B. Jordan's money, like compared to like whoever owns like uh, JP Morgan. Like, yeah. You know. Like he like, bro, they don't even wink at money like he has. So it's like, okay, y'all keep messing up these bags and y'all keep chasing this like dream of getting with somebody who's going to take care of you for the rest of your life. And I don't be alone. I mean, but it is what it is. I mean, I hope Michael B. Jordan gets him a nice little white woman and uh, settles down in Montana somewhere. I'm What's wrong with you, bro? I'm rooting for him, bro. I hope she's just like blonde hair, blue eyes. Blue eyes, like airy and like super pasty white. <laughs> no ass. Like, Freckles, bro. Yeah. Like all types of stuff. I want her tuna to, casserole, the works, you know, raisin, I want, potato yeah, salad. I don't like, want that chicken seasoned at all. Like I want him to post and be like, yo, look what they made. And it's just like some damn near raw piece of chicken. Salmonella seasoning, bro. And that's the thing too, is like all these black women be like, oh, like he didn't date white or he didn't date black, blah, blah, blah. And you see how quick they change up and be like, oh, <laughs> Lori B, Lori, Lori Harvey's out for hot girl summer. Like, oh, this, this is going to be great. Like another one for the city girls. And it's like, all right, <laughs> all right. Like, bro, it's like, you can't win, bro. Like as a black man, bro, they talk about like black women talk about, oh, it's, it's double hard being a black woman because you got to take L's from black men and you got to take L's from America. It's like, bro. A successful black man literally is like black women's kryptonite, bro. Like literally, like a dude who doesn't shoot up the club, a dude who ain't gonna like grab them by their hair, smack their mom, like beat up their cousin, like. And it's like think about like the baby, bro. Like this dude is like a real life villain, bro. And <laughs> women are still going after, bro. Like he beat up that girl's brother, bro. Like he killed a man, like and women are just like oh that's Yo, that, that gets brother. that gets them going bro that gets them that gets them all tingly down there the viscous innards all lubricated bro the the the, the whole yeah like, so he can bust the nut in them and then yeah. try to kick them out at three o'clock in the morning and be like damn that's crazy that you got my child but you thought you was about to stay in this hotel with her like, <laughs> i take care of my kids though. like bro get out of here here's like, a check get out my house <laughs> Because that's what it ends up being like when these dudes make that much money and they're just like from the streets, bro. It's just like, yo, I see. They really don't give a fuck. Yo, it's like because low key, he probably had like five. I mean, she talked about like, oh, you went to go see another bitch last night, blah, blah. It's like, 
because he can, bro. Like he's got money, you got money. Like what? And he got clout. Like, like, like what are you really keeping him? Like, what is keeping him? You giving him stress? Like you stressing him out, talking about, oh, you talking to this person, this is for, and you've already talked about it. Like we're high value men. Like they, they literally have these women throwing themselves at him at all points in time. So like, for him to take a bunch of arguing and complaining from like his baby's mama, like that's what she no. becomes, bro. It's like you didn't get married to him. You aren't like, he has no commitment to him. You just let him bust a nut in you and get you pregnant without a ring, without any commitment. And then you expect uh-huh. him to get in line, bro. That's not how that works no. at all. Like, and these females be taking nuts. Like it's the thing to do and be like, Oh, we're going to be so happy together because I have a kid. Like, bro, the dude got some money and you got a kid with him. Like you might as well call that dude Casper because he ain't coming back, bro. Danny Phantom, bro. Like Jimmy Neutron got a blast, bro. Like, <laughs> To the moon, bro. Forrest Gump, like, shoot we out, bro. Like, bro, because what is the most, the most, the thing that keeps most men from just doing stuff like that is money. And it's like, bro, if you got money to pay child support, like, why, why would you stay with somebody who's going to stress you out? Peace. Like, oh, well, I'm, I'm getting money, blah, 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 now, because, like, he takes care of his kids. It's a, a dude will come and sh- take care of his kids and not even care about you, period. Literally take his kids and be like, all right, bet. Yeah. Like, and then we saw that. Like, the Dana Lee and uh, the baby, like, when they were arguing in the Instagram, y'all can check out that video. But uh, till next time, Dude. peace. Sift the thoughts and all the thoughts. Bro, it's hot girl summer, bro. They just they just they just need it, bro. They just need to be out there. Because we outside, bro. We outside, we outside. Then the world's years. <laughs>